Hello, American Rod Shop family. This is Solon, and I got my new microphone in, so hopefully all these sound issues will be straightened out. Just let me know in the comments if it still sounds kind of weird. But in today's video, I've got a two-part video. We've got the flash sale, 10 cars in 10 minutes in the first half of the video for all you that are just interested in information only. And then the second half of the video, I've got the entertainment value. We've got the giveaways, we've got the trivia questions, and we've got the fantasy vintage stock car racing. So stay tuned for all that. But right now, let's get into these 10 cars in 10 minutes. Now, these 10 cars are cars that have been restored at some point in their past. They're not your average daily driver type cars. I still think the cost of restoring a car today, that these cars are very good prices. You can let me know what you think in the comments. But right now, let's do the 10 cars in 10 minutes. 1950 Mercury listed in Victor, New York for $14,900. The seller states this is an extremely solid old school barn find that is a joy to cruise in. Up for sale is his dark red 1950 Mercury four-door that is powered by the original flathead V8 with three speed on the column. This Mercury runs and drives great. This car is restored sometime prior to 1998, has been garaged and kept ever since and has not been on the road since then. Recently, it has been converted over to a 12 volt system, given a new fuel tank, a new carburetor, and a new fuel pump. The body is solid and the paint is very glossy and it displays nicely. The beautiful red and white matching interior looks as if it was restored just yesterday and still very comfortable. This is a low asking price for a Merc and this car will make a great project car to finish out or to use as a daily cruiser and it comes with a clean title. Number two, 1929 Ford Model A. Listed in West Greenridge, Rhode Island, marked down from $12,500 to $11,000. This antique black 1929 Ford Model A with the rumble seat received a mild restoration just a few short years ago, and it runs and drives great. New items on it include a leakless water pump, a new speedometer and cable, and has had new tires installed on it. New gray seat covers are comfortable when driving. The engine does burn a little oil and the brakes need to be adjusted. The gloss black paint is good, but not showroom quality. There is no rust or rot in the body at all, and it's an all-original steel body. The car has an Uga horn, and all the lights work well. This car also comes with two extra four-cylinder flathead Ford engines. One engine is assembled, and the other is disassembled, should you ever need any parts. Ask in a reasonable 11000 or best offer, and it comes with a clean title. Number three, 1940 Packard Club Coupe, listed in Little Silver, New Jersey, for $23,500. Up for sale is this beautiful 1940 Packard Club Coupe that is in amazing restored condition. Pre-war Packard Coupes of this year and model, and this quality are getting harder to find, especially at such a very reasonable asking price as this one. This is an older restoration that still looks amazing. The paint is glossy with deep layers over a super straight solid body and it displays beautifully. There is a small little rust spot on the bottom of the door and on the trunk lid. The beautiful tan interior is stylish and very comfortable. It has had the 8 cylinder motor rebuilt and it runs and drives great with only 12,300 miles on it. New items include a new clutch and new brakes asking 23500 or best offer for this very nice pre-war Packard. Let me know in the comments what you think about this coupe. I think it's gorgeous. Number four, 1944 Deluxe Standard Sedan, listed in Lakeland, Florida for $23,500. This beautiful blue 1944 Deluxe Standard Edition four-door sedan is up for sale by its third owner. It underwent a mild restoration not too long ago and has been garage kept ever since. Always pampered and well-maintained, this 1940 Ford runs and drives great. New tires recently added for better handling makes this vintage car a true fun-to-drive experience that will turn heads wherever you take it. In the former restoration, beautiful dark blue paint was added along with a comfortable, stylish tan interior that really makes this car pop. Driven an original 33,500 miles, this is a true survivor and coupled along with the restoration, 
makes this asking price of $23,500 a best offer a great deal and investment. You could not ask for a better daily driver than this one, and it comes with a clean title. Number 5. 1953 Buick Special Riviera, listed in Winder, Georgia, for $17,000. What a beautiful, restored, and updated two-toned black and blue 1953 Buick Special Riviera that runs and drives great. This is a solid and rust-free, bondo-free car that has been restored with modern dependability in mind. Engine and transmission have been rebuilt with very low miles. New CPP brake booster and master cylinder with new brake lines also has been installed. A front clip from a Nova was installed to create better handling, better riding, and a more modern front suspension. Front disc brakes were installed as well. New items include a new gas tank and lines, and all the wiring has been redone. Foot deep gloss black and blue paint coats the body, along with a new matching black and blue interior. Almost 4000 in chrome work has been done on this car. The seller has a clean title in hand, and he's asking for no trades. Number 6. 1940 Ford Panel Truck, listed in Claremore, Oklahoma, for $18,500. Up for sale is this beautiful two-toned light green and dark green colored rare 1940 Ford Panel Truck. This is an older restoration on this truck, and it runs and drives great. Always garage kept since the restoration, this 40 Ford has been pampered and well maintained and it shows in the pictures. It is powered by the original flathead V8 engine and manual transmission and has only been taken out on a special occasion or to a local car show and has always performed as it should. The beautiful paint has been sprayed over a rust free and super straight body and a new tan interior was installed that really adds to the entire amazing look of this truck. This truck is for sale by a dealership and they will take trades in on it, asking $18,500 or best offer. Number 7. 1950 Plymouth P20 Wagon, listed in Freehold, New Jersey, marked down from $17,900 to $16,990. This rare blue 1950 Plymouth P20 Special Suburban is a two-door station wagon that was first sold by Turner and Blood Chrysler Plymouth of New York in 1950 and has only an original 74,000 miles on it. This car is custom finished in new Brunswick blue cover matched to a tan cloth upholstery and the power comes from a 217.8 CI L head inline 6 paired with a column shift three-speed manual transmission, and it runs and drives great. Great vintage features include chrome bumpers and trim, a split folding tailgate, front and rear bench seats, an AM radio, a heater, a hood ornament, a split windshield, driver's side mirrors, and sliding side windows. Number 8. 1949 Buick Super marked down from 16000 to 13900 and listed in Los Angeles, California. Up for sale is this beautiful black 1949 Buick Super four-door sedan. The car is all stock and powered by the original straight-eight engine with the original automatic transmission. This car runs and drives great and performs as it should. A very nice mild restoration was done on this California car just a few years back which included new gloss black paint over a super straight body and a beautiful gray cloth interior put back to its original interior specs. All glass and chrome are good. The tags are up to date and this car makes a fantastic head turning cruiser. The seller has the pink slip in hand with a clean title. He is asking for $13,900 or best offer, but the price is negotiable for serious buyers only. Number 9. 1946 Ford Deluxe Coupe listed in Pasadena, Maryland for $14,000. Up for sale is this very nice white 1946 Ford Deluxe Coupe with an older but very nice Restorod style restoration. It runs and drives great and the very solid body only has an original low 
70,500 miles on it. It is powered by a Ford 302 motor and C4 automatic transmission. The engine has been rebuilt and only has less than 20,000 miles on it. The owner takes this coupe out regularly and it performs as it should, making this a great daily cruiser for anyone who loves old Ford coupes. The paint is decent but still displays nicely for a daily driver type of cruiser. The older custom white pleated interior still looks great and is very comfortable to sit upon. The body is solid with no rust except for a few tiny bubble spots of rust on it here and there. Number 10. 1966 Ford Mustang listed in Springdale, Arkansas for $14,900. This is a one owner, ready to drive anywhere, red 1966 Ford Mustang that is up for sale with 66,286 miles on it. This is a great running six cylinder Mustang and is all original except for some maintenance items and a nice repaint a few years back. It is powered by the original six cylinder engine with a manual three speed transmission that's right at home at 65 mile per hour on the highway. The AC blows but is not currently cold and has a minor donut gasket leak in the exhaust. The beautiful red repaint that's a few years old still displays nicely. It has a nice straight body, factory spinner hubcaps, the original radio, and an aftermarket radio has been installed under the glove box. The very nice original black interior makes this a fun car that turns heads at every stop. It has a solid engine, transmission, and brakes, and it is priced right at $14,900. And the price is firm. Well, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. 10 classic cars for sale in 10 minutes. Let me know what you think about this format in the comments. Plus, let me know what was your favorite car in tonight's video. That's always fun to talk about. Now, if you didn't see your car in tonight's video that you'd like to buy, check out these other great videos that we posted, like this one. A lot of still great cars for sale in these videos, like this one as well. And who knows, you may find your favorite car, your dream car, in one of those videos. Well, hey there, everybody. I am so glad you decided to stick around and check out part two. Now, in tonight's part two, we're going to find out who won that Hot Wheels that we gave away in the last video. Plus, we'll be showcasing another Hot Wheels that we're going to be giving away in the upcoming video. And we've got the automotive trivia. How well do you know your automotive history? That's always fun. Plus, we've got the Fantasy Vintage Stock Car Racing segment. And in tonight's race, I pitch 10 subscribers against each other to find out who would win that race. It's a really great race. Stick around for that. And if you'd like to participate in one of these races, all you have to do is drop the words race me in the comments and that will let me know you want to participate. Okay, I got three trivia questions for you tonight and they all concern Chrysler and Dodge. First question is, what year was Chrysler founded was it 1895 was it 1905 was it 1915 or was it 1925 if you know that answer drop it in the comments we'll check everybody's answer at the end of the video now if you enjoy these videos please like subscribe and share and don't forget to turn on that notification bell you want to be one of the first ones to get notified when these videos drop so that you'll have the earliest chance possible to try and check out these cars that are up for sale. Trivia question number two. Which of the following is not a Chrysler model? Is it the Imperial? Is it the Laser? Is it the Starfire? Or is it the Crossfire? If you know that answer, drop it in the comments. Like I said before, we're going to check everybody's answer at the end of the video. Let's find out who won that uh, little Hot Wheels we gave away in the last video. That was a sharp little 1978 Dodge Little Red Express truck. And we're going to go over to raffledash.com. We'll put in the URL code for the video. Frog Bones 1968. Congratulations, Frog Bones 1968. You're the winner. You've got approximately seven days to contact me at American Rod Shop at yahoo.com. And I'll send your prize out to you. Final trivia question number three. Which of the following was Dodge's first SUV? Was it the Dodge Rock Climber? Was it the Dodge Demon? Was it the Dodge Ram Charger? Or was it the Dodge Durango? 
you know that answer, drop it in the comments. We're about to check all these answers. Let me stop right here for a moment and pay some bills. Listen, if you've got anybody that loves to watch this channel and you're thinking about what kind of gift can you get for them, please check out the American Rod Shop store. I put the link over in the description. And in the store, you can find all sorts of goods related to American Rod Shop, such as coffee cups, hoodies, t-shirts, mouse pads, posters, sweatshirts, and much, much more. And the sale from all these items goes back into supporting this channel. Here is the Hot Wheel we're going to draw for in the next upcoming video. This Hot Wheel is 24 years old and has never been opened. It's a 2001st edition and this is a 1964 Lincoln Continental Convertible. Nice little Hot Wheels. Now if you want an opportunity to try and win this, you have to do one of three things. Go ahead and subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. Put the word Lincoln in the comments and enter as often as you'd like to. If you do those three things, you'll be entered in for a chance to win. And we'll draw for it in the next upcoming video. Okay, here are the answers to the trivia questions. When was Chrysler founded? It was founded in June 6, 1925. Answer to number two question, which of the following is not a Chrysler model? It is the Starfire. The Oldsmobile Starfire is an automobile nameplate used by Oldsmobile beginning in 1954. And which of the following vehicles was Dodge's first SUV? It was the Dodge Ram Charger. How many did you get right? I hope you got them all. Welcome to the Fantasy Vintage Stock Car Racing segment, where I pitch 10 subscribers against each other in a race and find out who is the winner. Let's go ahead and check the lineup for tonight in Position number one, the pole position, we got Bill Shoemake. Position number two, we got Bob Flyman. Position number three, we got Doug Fergia. Position number four, we got Jack Goodrich. Position number five, we got Jim Fox. Position number six, we got Richard Sumner. Position number seven, we got Stephen Wills. And position number eight, we got Tim Miller. Position number nine, we got Ruffines 13. And in position number 10, we got NDS 2. Now, the cars have been circling on track, waiting us to get there and start. So let's check them out. Okay, all the cars are passing around for review. Number 49, that is Bill Shoemakes in a pole position up front as we get this race started. Following up. In the rear in car number five is NDS2. He's fixing to turn them loose on this lap right here. And there they go. They're off and racing. You got 49 kind of extending his lead there in front of the pack by about four car lengths. Everybody else counting two, three, four, five, six, and seven positions are bunched up and fighting each other for that second and third place. We've got car 99 still holding his second place position good, but car number 62 is battling with him to try and take that over. Car number 58 has moved up a notch in one position. Still on the back side there, they're all bunched up. That car 49 is still ahead by about four car lengths, five car lengths. And they all sliding into each other. Keep them going though. Looks like car number 15 has really put some pressure on the outside lane. And there's car number 58, still holding that uh, fourth and fifth place position. Sliding around each other. The uh, white no number car has uh, moved up one spot, it appears. 99 still holding that second place position along with Doug Fergia, still in that third place position. And they are racing hard in this race, going around those curves sliding. Car 99 and car number 12. Car number 58. Is making a move. Right now we still got 49 in the front. 
62 in second position. He's passed car 99 for the second position. Fourth position, we've had a wreck there. The no number white car ran into car number 51, I believe it was. Caution's going to come out. Oh, no, they're still letting them race. They didn't pull the caution. They're going to go ahead and let them continue running. Look at there. He got a little high into the uh, edge. That allowed uh, 62 to catch up with him. 62 is fighting him for that first place position. And car number 58, who's moved from the fourth place, is now in third place. We got car 15 in the fourth place position. They moved all the way up from number seven. 49 is barely holding on to that lead. He had a lot longer lead, wider in the early in the race, but 62 is really bumping him in the rear. There goes 58 passing into the third position. Now 62 is side by side with car number 49 trying to win that first position. And it looks like for a moment there he got into the first place, but he fell back just a little bit. Car number 58. Still holding that third position pretty tight, and so is car number 15 in the fourth slot. They come back around, 49 is still in the lead. 62 is trying desperately to pass him. 58 is really putting on the speed. Now he is in second place position. 58 has come all the way from the fourth place to the second place position. 58 has made a move on 49 right here in the curve. Yes, he's got around him. He is now in the first place position. He has taken over first place position from 49, and I think with this last lap, it's possible he's going to be the winner. Oh, 49 is coming right up on him hot and heavy, though. But he still maintains that position. 49 has fallen back. 58 is coming around. He's got to pass that uh, rear car, and then he will be challenging 49 for the first place position. 15 has moved up all the way to the third place position. There's car number five. He was actually on the end of the lap, kind of accidentally blocking 58 and getting up to 49. Whoa, 58. He's made a pass. He's got by that car number five. He is challenging. He's going around the corner. I think he's going to take the win. 58 got the win on that, ladies and gentlemen. 58 coming all the way from fifth place position. That winner is Jim Fox. Congratulations, Jim. That was an exciting race. There it is, ladies and gentlemen, another video for your viewing pleasure. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed bringing it to you. May God bless each and every one of you, and I'll see all you guys and gals in the next upcoming video.